Commence primary ignition. Hey there, friends, fans, and collectors. Welcome to another episode of Binary Sunset News. I am Mike, and today we're going to be talking about the newest wave of Black Series figures, as well as the new vintage collection, which is finally showing up in some of the stores around us. Let's take a look. Star Wars collectors know that the shelves have been bare for far too Get long. Ready. We have been taking many trips to see either the last vintage collection wave, the repack wave, or anything new in the Black Series, and more often times than not, we show up and there's nothing on the shelves. Now, I was really, really eagerly awaiting this wave because we have some excellent figures in them. I am happy to say that they are actually hitting the shelves two or three months earlier than they would if you pre-ordered them. Now, I pre-ordered some of these. They're not going to get here for a while. This is all found in the shops around me, and hopefully they'll be restocking them soon so we can get more of them out there. Now, when Hasbro's last live stream, they did address the fact that, you know, we don't have enough of these figures out there. We're constantly hearing from them that, you know, we would get more vintage collection out there if they performed as good as the Black Series. It is certainly not equal in, you know, how much they're produced a year. We definitely get more Black Series, but even then, not enough. All the Star Wars figures sell out very, very quickly, and often the only place to get them is online. Now, I hope that Hasbro will be addressing this, as they said in their last live stream, shortly and hopefully soon. That being said, it's extra exciting to see the new waves on shelves, and hopefully that'll be coming more of a regular scenario. Now, it's interesting the flow of how these shipments get moved across the country. I'm actually located on the East Coast, and it takes quite a long time for things to get here. Now, more often times than not, when I see a collector on Instagram who posts things that are on shelves, it, it normally takes about two weeks to a month for me to kind of see them on my shelves over here. Now, that timeline has been stretched extra, extra long in the last year or so, or even in the last couple of years, where it takes even more than a month to see that turnaround. Now, these Black Series figures were seen in hand for some collectors about a month ago. They just got to just got to my state and immediately gone in, in thin air. So hopefully we're going to get a restock of these ones. And I know the Black Series gets a much, much more prevalent turnaround in print. So hopefully we're definitely we're going to see some more of these guys also. Now, I used the uh, UPCI numbers and the SKU numbers in the Walmart system to be able to track down these figures. And that being do, doing that, you can often see which store has them. You, when you see these, you should act quickly because the this wave particularly has a bunch of fan favorites and a bunch of really cool promo figures for the new series that we're going to be seeing on Disney+. Plus. Going into the list of figures here, the Vintage Collection comes, there's five figures in this wave, and I'm missing three, two very important ones, but I'm missing three figures to this wave. This was all I could find, and I did quite, quite, quite a lot of searching. I will continue to do that searching. I will continue to report back here and let you guys know where I found them and how to get them better. Uh, identifying them in Target, you can use the DPCI codes. That doesn't work in Walmart. They use the SKU codes, there are great resources out there. I know Rebel Scum has a, a master list of SKU codes, which really, really comes in handy when you're out hunting. And this definitely is hunting season. So be sure to be out there, be ready to go, and be prepared to not be able to find these at your first store. But do not get discouraged because they are out there. The rest of the figures in this vintage collection wave are Grogu in his little pre-am, which is really, really awesome. Snaggletooth, which is a reprint from the Target exclusive. That was, he's just another alien, another awesome alien in the Cantina and A New Hope. And then, of course, we have the Blue Sky Boba Fett Return of the Jedi reprint. Now, this reprint is not exactly as we've seen it in past years. It has been modified in my, in my eyes to be much better. The text fits better. The image fits better. It's a much more high definition image. And the figure is completely, completely rearranged to be Amazing. Going into the Black Series figures that come in this line. Now, while I wasn't able to find the full Vintage Collection line, I was able to find the full Black Series line. Now, this is the newest Black Series wave, which focuses heavily on the Bad Batch Disney Plus series, which we're going to be seeing soon 
online. Now that Bad Batch series is going to be streaming on May 4th. I like what they're doing there, that they're having some more promos across all of their media that tie into that holiday. This wave actually is being sent now seen at Walmart and some Walmarts have them on their Black Series, you know, regular shelving, but most Walmarts are being given like this special promo boxing set, which they just put alongside the aisle. So make sure don't just head to the toy aisle and, and turn around when you don't see anything. Do a little loop around the whole toy section because the these are particularly missable. Make sure you keep an eye out for these guys. This is a particularly cool wave. Starting off the list, we have Bo-Katan Kreese. Bo-Katan has been a favorite character of mine since we saw her in the Clone Wars. Her night owls were always such amazingly powerful characters and great leaders. And Katie Sackhoff depicted her incredibly cool in the Mandalorian live action series. Now this figure is based off the Mandalorian this figure is based off the live action vision of her, and it does come with a pretty great photo rendition of her face right there. She does have her blasters. We're gonna get right more into that, but I'm really, really excited for this figure. It's gonna be great, and I always love adding another Mando to my collection. Next up on the list, we have Crosshair from the Bad Batch. Now, we were teased a couple months ago about the next deluxe figure who's going to be Wrecker, the larger member of the Bad Batch. And when we learned about him, we assumed we were going to be getting the entire Bad Batch in the Black Series and hopefully in other figures, Vintage Collection particularly, down the road. And we were right. So we were teased shortly after that, the rest of the Bad Batch, well, the three rest of the Bad Batch, we got, the, we got more of them coming. We got fives coming, I'm sure. But Crosshair is the sniper of the team. They each have very unique armor that is this black and red that denotes that they're from the 99th Battalion or the 99th Group, whatever they call themselves. Uh, he comes with a different kind of helmet. They all have very unique armor that's actually pertaining to their task. And Crosshair's the sniper, so he has a really cool like sniper rifle. He's got a great helmet. He's got a tattoo of a Crosshair over his face. What a cool figure. Just what, what an awesome figure. So, I, I mean, I can't wait to see these guys all lined up together. And obviously, I can't wait to go into the new show as soon as it starts. Running on down the list, we have the leader of our group, the Bad Batch, and that's Hunter. Hunter is a really cool clone. He really like, reminds me of, like, Rambo in the Rambo movies. He's even got his, like, headband. Um, all these guys have really highly detailed, unique faces. So, obviously, for the figure, their helmet comes off, too. So... Here he is. He's he's his thing is he's got a he's a stabby boy. So he's got a vibra knife in his in his little gauntlet. So he stabs with that. He throws that. He's not only a tough guy from the range, but he also likes his melee fighting. And next up, uh, this is one that it's it's so bland. I think it's like one of the coolest ones in this. Like even even the blandest figure in this new set is pretty freaking awesome. And here he is, the elite squad trooper. Now, this, this is a clone trooper that is a clone mid-transition to the Empire, because that's the whole deal for the Bad Batch show, and I love that. The Elite Squad Trooper is particularly cool. He comes in black Katurn 2 clone trooper armor. Now, he just perfectly embodies that this is a transition period where we're transitioning from the Republic that we knew and loved to the evil Empire. Flavor text in the back supports the idea that he hunts down rogue clones and rebel cells. So, it, I mean, it couldn't be any better than that. He's a, he's a cool dude, and he's probably the least unique figure out of this entire set. So even the least unique one is really, really hats off cool. And last but not least, we have Asajj Ventress. Now, what would our clone figures be without their enemy from the Clone Wars animated series? Dooku's failed apprentice, Asajj Ventress. Now, she is a beautifully sculpted, first time seen in the Black Series, beautifully sculpted figure. I'm going to go more into her, but her robes are, are like a velvety, nice, soft, soft fabric. And just her unique blades and lightsabers are looking great. And the blades look like they separate and everything. But we'll do more reviews of this whole line. But ec excellent, excellent time hunting, finding these. And I wish you luck out there on your search 
the two vintage collection I did successfully find were Grief Karga from The Mandalorian on the Mandalorian card back from season two and the Bespin Escape Princess Leia. Now I am particularly excited about all the figures I find, but I love when I find vintage collection figures and these two are particularly special. I love that I finally get a Carl Weathers in 375 Star Wars garb and the card back on him is particularly nice looking too. Very, very regal, very, very respectable. I like it, I love it. I'll post below what I can help with, but the best tools that I've found while collectible hunting have to be the master skew list that Rebel Scum has. I'll be sure to post that. And of course, Yak Face with their ongoing rumors and great things that we hear from them. I hope you have a great time hunting out there. It is the season, the new wave is out there, so May the force be with you. And remember, this is the way. Have a great day out there. Stay safe, stay sane. And remember, the force will be with you, always. I'm just a simple man trying to make my way in the universe.